Hey guys, Brian here. As most of you know that are familiar with my channel, if you've been following very long, uh, one of the things I do a lot of is custom high performance parts. You've seen me do these tappets before, uh, so I'm not going to get into a lot of detail on that. But I am going to show you the setup I'm doing and I'm trying out a new Kinemetal CNMP insert. And it's doing pretty good here so far so I'll show you the chip control on that and then we'll do the heat treat on these and uh, the hard turning after that and we'll see how that goes this time get a little better each time I do it I think so learn and go so let's take a look at this setup how I do these and get to it Okay, so what I do is I feed this bar through the chuck and I use my tool to feed up against and I set it on zero. That way I know where to start all the time. I actually give it about 3,000 so I can clean it up. Just a real life pass. It doesn't take much. The soft cuts pretty straight. So, get that zero and put the hole in here to so tap it. Just clean the scale off and get my outside diameter for the foot set. I'm at 10,000 speed rate. We got a nice compact little chip coming off there. That's why I like them thrown down and pack a lot in the tray like that. It's easy to handle. Don't make a big mess. They're not all over the shop.
Alright guys, so we got the tappets all wrapped up in my little pie pan here. I decided this time I was going to try them all in one batch and just wrap them up. Uh, try and fold the ends off, keep the air out, and uh, we'll see how that works. So I'm going to pop them in the oven and let them bake. Alright, so we've We've had the tappets in here cooking 1900 degrees for the past hour or so, so they should be soaked all the way through and have time, had time to uh, change their metallurgy to what we want. So I'm going to try and pull them out of there and dump them in this bucket of oil without making too big of a mess or. Uh, having too big a fire so we'll see how that goes uh, haven't done them in a big lump like this before so I don't know how it's going to react but we're going to find out I guess so take the tongs here and we'll give it a go Okay, here's all the tappets after heat treating. I've done my quench and tamper on these. So now I'm going to get them set back up here and put my hard turning insert in there and get these finished out to dimension. Uh, wish I had a cylindrical grinder to do these on. I think it'd be a, a really good way to, get, to do this and leave a nice finish. but. Uh, when I've tried to do these in the surface grinder before, they're uh, they're hard to do on my surface grinder. Uh, the Thompson's all hydraulic, and it's it's uh, it's hard to really finesse and get up close to edges and things with it. Uh, the hydraulic movement's just not as easy to control. It doesn't seem like as a, an actual lead screw or something. So we'll get these chucked in here and get these turned and. Try and get you some shots of the hard turning action. And a lot of people say that you can't hard turn on an older machine because it doesn't run fast enough, but it seems to work okay for me. I haven't really had any problems out of it so far. It's always looked pretty good. So let's get to it. Alright, so I've got this down to where I can hit size and get a good finish on these in exactly three passes. Uh, we'll take about a first pass and I do at 700 and I take 10 off that and then these finish at 683 so I take another 7 and I've been hitting it within a half a thousand each time uh, which is good for this so uh, the factory specs actually 3000 so let's uh, give this a go and let you see how it looks.
Here we are. Another batch of completed tappets. You can see the finish turned out pretty good on them. That hard turning works nice. Get nice consistent results. Doesn't take too long. Got the ends all ground up. And these are ready to go in an engine, make a couple thousand horsepower, and have a nice long life. Bailey says, sleep well.